Hello and welcome to SAP Learning Academy and welcome to this tutorial. In this video tutorial, I will be telling you the difference between RFC and IDAC. You may have gone through these terms while working but don't know the actual difference and what is this RFC and IDAC is. So I'm going to share the information about the differences between these two terms. So first we have to know that what is RFC and IDAC and then I will be going with the differences uh, the major differences between this RFC and IDAC. So RFC remote function call and IDAC intermediate document is the standard SAP interface for communication between two systems. Here you can consider as an example SAP to SAP transfer or SAP to non SAP system transfer. So what we understood now that so both are kind of an you know SAP interface or communication method between two system RFC and IDAC meaning that how two systems will be connected for exchanging the data. So now we'll move with the major difference. One side I have RFC and other side I have IDAC. RFC is synchronous communication and IDAC asynchronous communication. I will be explaining the meaning of that. First, you should know about this example. If I give you example of real-time streaming like phone call or video call, those are the part of synchronous communication, meaning that where your sender and receiver, so both has to be present at the right time, I mean at the real time. So then only that communication will be called as synchronous communication. And on the other side, now if I talk about the file transfer, email, chat, so that doesn't need a constant bit rate, meaning that your sender and receiver does not need to be present at the real time. So that's what we are calling asynchronous communication and it is being followed in IDAC. So next we have RFC client and server both act together to transfer the data. So if I give you the little bit about the configuration, how does it work? Here the RFC configuration is very easy. You just need to provide the information about your client RFC and server RFC. So, so once both informations are given, so it can transfer the data at real time. But on the other side, IDAC needs a little bit more configuration where the process is when sender creates an IDOC queue according to the IDOC type because first you need to define the IDOC type means what is the you know kind of you know uh, this queue data you want you can define this IDOC type then the sender sends the data in terms of queue then again later the target receive the data now in terms of that queue and receive in the system and involving system must be present at the same time and here involving system does not need to be present at the same time and now mostly used for SAP to SAP communication and here it is can be used for both SAP to SAP and SAP to non SAP but RFC is mostly used for SAP to non SAP system the reason because when we are sending the data to an external vendors or supplier suppose you have a central SAP system and you are sending the information to a supplier or vendor then uh, you should encode the data properly using this IDAC method because using this IDAC you are actually ensuring the data will be encrypted and later at the uh, receiver side it will be decrypted so rfc is uh, you know will be feasible will be better when we talk about the non sp system communication and last is easy to implement as i said that the configuration is much easier than iduc and on the other side uh, you need extra effort for implementing the IDAC because you have a whole lot of configuration like IDOC type and what kind of structure you want in the data so and so on 
So that's all about these whole differences and I hope you have enjoyed this video and like it and if you uh, have any question any sort of questions like other communication type like we have uh, uh, APIs different other KPIs please write in the below comment box and I will be definitely sharing videos on that and please watch the other tutorials I have given the links in the below description thank you for watching